Hello, my people. My name is Nduduzo Dandala. Today, it's all about exponents and logarithms for grade 12. But first, what will we be covering? Simplifying exponential expressions, solving exponential equations, and understanding the relationship between exponents and logarithms. So let's go! John Napier, he's the father of logarithms, a Scottish mathematician who spent his entire life trying to do one thing. And this is the purpose of logarithms, to simplify calculations. The basics of logarithms stem from having an understanding of exponents. Exponents are used as a short way to represent a number. Exponents are governed by rules. These rules are the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule. Let us elaborate on the product rule. Given a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n will equal a to the power m plus n. We just add the powers. The bases must be the same. Next, the quotient rule. Given a to the power m divided by a to the power n will equal to a to the power m minus n. We subtract the powers. Nikumbule, the bases must be the same. Then, the power rule. The power rule has three subrules, and these are in a bracket a to the power m to the power n will equal to a to the power m n. We multiply the powers. Next, a b to the power m equals a to the power m b to the power m. We distribute the power. Next, in a bracket a all over b to the power m will equal to a to the power m over b to the power m. Again, we distribute the power to each base. Now, let's look at an example. Now, let us simplify 16 to the power x dot 8 to the power x. We first simplify 16 to the power x into its smallest exponential form. This is 2 to the power 4x, and we do the same for 8x and we end up with 2 to the power 3x. We do this because we have to find a common base. The next thing to do is to multiply out the brackets. So we end up with 2 to the power 4x dot 2 to the power 3x. We are able to multiply out the brackets because we use the power rule. Then we add the exponents because of the product rule. So we end up with 2 to the power 4x plus 3x. This is the product rule. And thus we end up with 2 to the power 7x. The next question. Let us simplify a question that has multiple powers. Given 5 to the power 3m plus 3 over 5 to the power m. The first thing to note is that the base is the same. That is why we can bring 5m to the top because we apply the quotient rule. And so we end up with 5 to the power 3m plus 3 minus m. Don't forget to subtract your exponents. Now we simplify further by adding the variables that are the same kind. And so we end up with 5 to the power 2m plus 3. The next question. This is a comprehensive example because we use a number of rules to solve it. Given 3 to the power 1 minus x plus 3 to the power minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. First, we take 12 to the other side of the equation, so we end up with 3 to the power 1 minus x plus 3 to the power minus x is equal to 12. Then, we split 3 to the power 1 minus x into 3 to the power 1 dot 3 to the power minus x, and so we end up with 3 to the power 1 dot 3 to the power minus x plus 3 to the power minus x is equal to 12. 
The next step is to factorize. Group together all the numbers that are the same, which as you can see is 3 to the power minus x. So we end up with 3 to the power minus x in a bracket 3 to the power 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. We simplify further by adding 3 to the power minus x times 4 is equal to 12. What you do to the other side of the equation, you must do to the other as well. So we will divide both sides by 4 and end up with 3 to the power minus x is equal to 3 to the power 1. Now ladies and gentlemen, because the bases are the same, we can say that minus x is equal to 1. To get x by itself, we divide by minus 1, and that is why x is equal to minus 1. Now this is all we will be doing regarding exponents. Remember that this is revision for grade 12. What's more important to you is the relationship between exponents and logarithms. Let's say x is equal to a to the power y. Then in exponential form, oh my god, sorry. Three, two, one, go. Let's say x is equal to a to the power y. Then in logarithm form, this will be y is equal to log base a x. This example helps us see that the relationship between exponential form and logarithm form is that the base is the same. Let's go further. In exponential form, given 16 is equal to 2 to the power 4, in logarithm form we say that this is 4 is equal to log base 2, 16. Again, note that the base is the same. Ask yourself this. Take log 2, 16. To what power must 2 be raised to get 16? Surely this should be 4 because 4 to the power 2 is equal to 16. The other way you can do this is to use your calculator. You'd simply punch in the logarithm button, then your base 2 and 16, you get your answer which will give you 4. So that is all on relationships between exponents and logarithms. Let's quickly recap on the learning outcomes. Simplifying exponential expressions, done. Solving exponential equations, done. Understanding the relationship between exponents and logarithms, done. Guys, be on the lookout for other school tube videos. For now, Nisalega Gohle.